This, this is a very logical amendment that I hope will be accepted. What this does is it takes a program that the Department of Justice announced last week that I've been encouraging the President and the Attorney General to engage in, and that is to expand the clemency department in the Department of Justice so that individuals who are unjustly incarcerated can appropriately be recommended to the President for commutations and or pardons. This Congress passed the Fairness in Sentencing Law a few years ago. The President signed it. It was in 2010. And it corrected what we found were errors in the judgment of this Congress in the way it incarcerated people in the distinctions of cocaine and crack and found that it had a disparate impact and an illogical impact on African Americans. That cocaine and crack are basically the same drug. But for years, it was a 100 to 1 ratio in the quantity, working against what was considered a drug more likely to be used by African Americans than Caucasians. The fact is, each drug is equal in its pernicious effects on society, and that that 100 to 1 ratio was wrong, and we changed it to 18 to 1. It should be equal, but we changed it to 18 to 1. Accordingly, for the first time probably in the history of this body, and maybe any legislative body, sentences were reduced, which means that the public policy of the United States of America is now that those people are being unjustly incarcerated. But it was only passed in a prospective and not a retroactive fashion, which it should have been, because their public policy shows they are being unjustly incarcerated. The President has seen the need to have more commutations and pardons. It cost us $30,000 a year to incarcerate an individual. And if people are in there on sentences that are void against public policy, they should be released. They should have a commutation at their time according to the law that has existed in this country from 2010 to the present. It would re reunite them with their families, get them back into society, and save the public the cost of incarcerating them. So what this particular amendment would do is take just two million dollars from the Bureau of Prisons, which has a budget in the hundreds of millions of dollars, their budget is seven billion dollars, with a 121 million dollar increase. So it would take two million dollars from the Department of Prisons, which is one three hundred and fiftieth of what the Bureau of Prisons gets, to put that money not into a, the Bureau that would have these people where they're incarcerated unjustly, but to give the money to the Department of Justice where they can ascertain which individuals should appropriately be recommended for commutations and save money for society and reunite people with their loved ones and give them freedom. Freedom which is so important and liberty. Now I know some of the amendments have been talked about and they said well we don't want to put any of the people in the Bureau of Prisons at risk. I would submit to you that by taking two million dollars from the Bureau of Prisons and allowing more people to be recommended for commutations, there will be less people in prison, less need for those personnel, and less likelihood of having any problems. But beyond that, the Bureau of Prisons would see to it that $2 million didn't come from areas where prison guards would be endangered. They could take that from personnel, they could take it from management, they could take it from administration, they could take it even from the areas where the prisoners get their clothing or their food or, or whatever they get. I assure you that $2 million will not jeopardize a single member of the Bureau of Prisons, but it will give people freedom and liberty at $30,000 a year for the taxpayer. I would hope that we could approve this, give this new, newly invigorated Department of Justice Office for Commutations $2 million to hire more attorneys to make sure they make the right decisions and they make plentiful decisions to give people liberty and save the taxpayers' money. So I would ask for a positive vote and thank you for the opportunity to present this amendment.